I thought 2020 was gonna look a certain way. When things happen and you have to pivot, it requires you to also get creative with how you pivot, you know? I think shifting from, you know, being on tour or doing creative direction as a, as a day job to doing design as a day job. It was just like a creative pivot and I wasn't gonna fight what was happening. I just had to just truly adjust to the circumstances. Be strong, be strong, be If you were to make a handbook on Sean Brown, like what would the name of that guidebook be? And maybe a name of a few of those chapters in that book. Hmm. Chapter one, research. Summer of 99, I start buying the source. I start to feel like I can participate in this because I wanted it to be more than me just buying the clothes. I was like, instead of being an animator, I actually want to be a designer and like, I want to like be dressing these people and be immersed in all of this kind of stuff. So that's kind of how that started. So I have this thing where like uh, shit you'll see on Tumblr <clears throat> or like photographs you'll see on Tumblr or on anywhere on the internet, Twitter, whatever. I always try and track down the original print. Vogue, October 1999, but Puff takes Paris. Like just, just crazy. Cause like even the format of this editorial, like it's intertwined with Kate Moss. You know, there's no break between, it's like her, him. So I'm curious to know like how these things came together and obviously watching that Vogue documentary with uh, Grace Coddington. She explained that like taking a chance as a creative director being like, yo, no, rappers are like fashion stars too. You know what I'm saying? So what I start doing now is I start taking like visual record of like how things are done around the world. And then I come back home to Toronto and I'm like, yeah, we could do this a bit differently. Like, you know what I mean? Chapter two, actualization. So the more I start going through like records, album artwork, it starts to become about um, how can we take this concept, like this, this form of media that I grew up with and yeah. create something entirely new from it, you know? This is, we all recognize like the label that's on like a shoebox, and that's the kind of thing I'm interested in is like how can you say it a lot with saying a little? So to package a stash box, also a very rap culture thing, you know, to be saving money in the shoe box. There was the, almost like the, the reusing of one element being like the packaging of your clean white sneakers and repurposing it to like save money, kind of putting it back into how I told you how we made the disc into a carpet, making the concept of an actual stash box where you would put money and make an actual piggy bank out of it. To your point about like notes, little liner notes, those little hints, if you're looking at like the packaging, like it's there, you see like the little, the little verses even on like the incense. If you're looking at like the caps, right? Like I'm, I, we're saying it like opposite lane in the range to get to know you. Cause I know you do the same. James Fauntleroy wrote that, right? Like it evolves, it solves, it gives and receives. That's Gnarls Barkley, uh, CeeLo on Feng Shui. So I just know the future of what I'm doing is is definitely in, in space. Chapter three, audacity. If you're in a space that is conducive to you being inspired and getting your work, like it, it'll come through in, in the work. But specifically what jump started Hypatia was I was looking at this apartment and it ended up getting sold, but it, it felt like the perfect layout of an apartment that I would want for my home. I got the floor plan and I linked up with this woman, Janet, she's an architectural designer in London. And I basically said, yo, I want to create this series of apartments. And I was like, I want to start with this one being like mod A and then we created mod B and then she designed mod C and mod D and mod E and all these things to like have it all set up that by the time I got in front of a developer, it was like, yo, it's ready to go. From that one apartment that I thought was the perfect home, we ended up building out a series of apartments that find a new way to create the intersection again between quality of life living, low cost materials and sustainability, but not just creating this redundant look of how things Be like strong. always look when you think like mid-rise condo. Be strong. Be you know, people want to remind you of what's realistic. They have to see it to believe it and other people who tend to dream have to believe it to see it, you know? Be strong.
be strong and brave.